today's video i'm gonna be just you know doing like a chit chat get ready with me kind of video um this is not a tutorial but i am gonna let you guys know what products that i am using on my face so yeah basically i'm kind of going for like a um full look i mean obviously it's December but I still want to do something fall related within the next week or so I am gonna be creating a, like a Christmas look but yeah so for today's look I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette this palette has really good fall shade you have like copper um warm tones a little bit of cool tones in the palette so my main well i'm trying to think like if i want to do brown or if i want to do like some like, bluish colors but i don't know we'll see more than likely i'm probably going to be using the brown shade so yeah i'm trying to think what do i want to talk about first so pretty much um i've just been like you know working on my businesses a lot and i think like two videos ago i had mentioned that like i haven't been posting really in november because um busy working i had like no content to create i was going through a lot of stuff and i just felt like really uninspired um going through a lot of drama and november wasn't like that great of a month for me however this month has been a lot better like 10 times better i would say so i went in the shade with dawn which is like this shade right here and then i'm probably gonna there's always planes freaking flying over here I'm probably gonna go in with, I don't know, do I want to do olive? I don't know. I think I'm gonna go in with fudge, which is this brown shade right here. But, um, yeah, what was I gonna say? Um, I forgot. What did I think? Oh yeah, December has been a better month for me, right? Financial financially wise and um yeah i've just been you know preparing for the new year getting myself ready for the new year all my goals i don't want to say everything well certain things i should say but um i am going to say that i'm definitely going to be traveling more next year for sure my next trip is next month almost it's like a month and a half away i'd say um the end of next month and I'm trying to plan a trip in march and i'm trying to plan a trip in april two trips i think i might have two trips in april so already in the new year i'm probably going to be going on four trips with club secrets um not that i don't know i do travel with club secrets and if you want to know more about that comment below so i can talk to you about that um and i just save a lot of money i will put the disclaimer out there and no it is not a timeshare it's way better than timeshare um i personally don't like timeshares but Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Destiny, which is this olive shade right here. 
and I'll put that on the outer corners, see how that looks. Um, but yeah, what else? Um, fun things are coming towards next week. Um, I'm gonna try to vlog some of the things. And this actually doesn't look too bad. Adorn, which is this copper shade right here. I'm very excited to use this shade. Yeah, when I be doing my makeup, like, it be looking mad good, like, in person. And then when I take pictures, it's like, all the colors aren't vibrant. So I have to, like, tweak my photos a bit so the colors can pop out. It's a little frustrating. Like, on here, it looks a little washed out, but in person, it looks a lot better. Like, ten times better. Yeah, this is a nice eyeshadow look right here. Yeah. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Alright. I'm going to put some eyeliner on. For eyeliner, I'm going to use the Tarte Tartiche Gel Liner. I've been using this eyeliner for four years now. This is my favorite eyeliner. I love it so much. I don't like liquid eyeliner. I like the gel because it doesn't crack. Dries nicely. I'm sure there are liquid eyeliners that don't crack too, but... I like to use what works for me. I use it on clients and it just looks really great. Alright, so for primer, I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer, which I always use. What else is happening? So, for the new year, I think I'm going to title this like, should I title this New Year Resolution? No, nah, I think maybe I'll send that for like another video. I don't know. We'll see. Um, what else? I mean, there's not really much to really talk about. I mean, you know, I just be working on my business traveling and get into the bag um if you are interested in looking for an extra or another stream of income definitely contact my email um it's shanaaponte.com .com, shanaaponte at gmail.com um it's on my youtube channel too um or definitely hit up my instagram i'm a lot more responsive on Instagram so yeah that's definitely the best bet I am looking for people who are go-getters who want more out of life who want to put in the work and who don't want to be babied don't want to be spoon-fed and already have that ambition my job is to not um, my job is to you know motivate you and push you but I'm not gonna do it for you that makes sense you gotta want it for yourself I, I am not someone that can motivate you um I mean I am but like to an extent like it's not my job like I'm gonna motivate you I'm gonna give you that push but it's up to you if you want it for yourself because at the end of the day when it comes to success like you truly have to want it for yourself 
I can't want success for you. I can want you to be successful, but if you're not putting in the work, it's never gonna happen, you know? I can put you in a position to win, and it's up to you to hit those goals and go after it, you know? And that's basically what I do. Helping people look better, feel better, and experience the world. Everybody wants that time freedom, everybody wants change, and I'm just here to sit here and say that, you know, it can be you, you know, you can you can start now and make that change for yourself, but you gotta want it. And it doesn't matter how old you are. You can be in your 40s, you can be in your 50s, you can be in your 60s, you can be in your 20s, 30s, it doesn't matter. 40s, like I said, 40s before. And, yeah opportunity is for everyone so if you want it bad and you want that time freedom and time freedom is you know when you're when you want more time to do things obviously and nothing sucks more than working a job making all this money just for bills and then you have no money to do other things i don't care what no one says nobody wants to live that kind of life and if you do chances are you're just accustomed to it and I know everybody wants to get out of that rat race mentality I'm a workaholic but I'm not gonna you know how they say shop till you drop I'm not gonna work till I drop like you know what I mean so that's what I do for people and I'm willing to help anyone that wants it for themselves you gotta want it I provided for you you go get it but if you're interested definitely reach out to me on Instagram at the Roshana it's down below I got um some like secret like orders from Black Friday I ordered a lot of stuff shit little stuff um and I definitely want to do like an unboxing for you guys so you can guys see what I got and like all the great products that we have. It's so amazing. Like I truly, truly, I've never loved products so much than I do now. Like these products are amazing that like before I wouldn't take time out of my day to do my nighttime skincare routine and now I do just because I love these products so much. So yeah all right now i'm going to set my under eyes and contour with my Too faced coco contour palette i use the heck out of this shade because the yellow shade is like the best all the other shades i don't use but i can always use those shades on like clients that have more fair skin me i just use shades that have like a yellow undertone That's harsh. Look at the difference of contour you like. So for blush, I'm using the Morphe 3B or 9B palette. Something different. I always reach for like Anastasia Beverly Hills, right? So I think I'm gonna go with these two like mauvey shades. I really want to see how this looks. Look. 
I like to blend it up with my bronzer. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we're gonna fix that. A little bit more bronzer. And honestly, like, I gotta put on, a, like, mad makeup because, like I said, it don't be freaking coming out in pictures. What's gonna take this away is when you go back in with your under eye and you kind of like blend it in over there okay looks a little bit better for highlight i'm going in with my anastasia beverly hills and reezy highlighter i love this highlighter look at that but yeah i can't wait to travel more next year I think I'm going on, ooh, I'm going on a lot of vacations next year. I'm one, two, three, hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, probably six, maybe six, seven vacations next year. I'm excited. Mm -mm -mm. I really wanna go to Egypt and Dubai, but you gotta be, you know what to go over there so hopefully that changes i'm not getting that my health and wellness products do the trick for me and i just don't need it i used to highlight my brow bone a lot but i stopped i'm gonna keep i'm gonna start doing it again So I just found my lashes. I'm waiting for it to dry and then I'm gonna curl them. Yes, we're going for a very dramatic look at like eyelashes and make a huge difference, right? So for lips, I kind of don't know what I want to do. I want to do something like nude as always, but I also want to do something different. Trying to think. Hmm, I think I may go with like a mauve pinkish lip. Beard. Okay, so for lips, I'm thinking about going in with MAC Roll It Pencil and MAC Velvet Teddy. I remember this is like a super, super popular throwback when everyone was trying to get like the Kylie Jenner lip. Velvet Teddy was it? I'm just a blend, so I'm trying to rub it in. I always like doing brown because I feel like it defines my lips a little bit more, but I want to try something different because I have a lot of makeup and I wear the same thing every day. And there we have it. And then now I'm going to set my face with my aloe rose water. I should've kept my makeup headband on so I wouldn't get any on my hair because my hair will curl up. Let's see. The key is to fan your face I'm going to fix up my hair and I'll be right back. 
so this is the hair i still have my robe on i think i'm gonna take pictures like this too um but if you guys can see i did like some cute braids right here and i got the idea from wow val on youtube and instagram and i love how it looked on here so i tried it i realized that i can braid but the reason why my braids weren't coming out the way i wanted to wanted it to was because when i would braid i would braid holding my hands this way and if i want like a really good form braid i need to braid like this you know what i mean i don't know because before i was braiding like that but now i have to braid like with my hands positioned forward but i know my hair is dark so you can't really see the braid like that but i added some extensions in and that's pretty much it for my chit chat get ready with me i just lowered the camera a bit so you guys can see me better um but yeah that is pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe turn on the bell button so you'll be notified anytime that we post a new video follow me on tiktok and instagram at the roshana and also check out my eyelashes at shanaalclante.com shop link will be right here also in the description and check out my lifestyle brand club secret website at secretdirect.com slash devoshana link will be right here also in the descriptions there are still some bundles left but only while they last which will be till tomorrow so if you guys want to check out the bundles definitely take a look at that hold up oh someone wrote me anyways yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye